What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a uh, extremely uh, scattered, not well thought out video, pretty much like the rest of them. I ended up getting a box to get crossbars put on our 2021 Kia Sorento because we we're driving to Disney. Don't ask me why, I thought that was a good idea. I guess I don't want to fly Woke America Airlines or you know any of these airlines at the moment. Um, so I'm also in the uh, process of moving all of my weights over here to prepare for having a car and detailing cars again and getting my life back in order. But I just wanted to quickly show you what I got in the boxes. It came with, um, I'm assuming, yeah, the, uh, came with four Yakima end caps here. I guess that's the brand that they went with and it's got these accessories and this is what it looks like. So, um, this one has the extended roof rails. You know, obviously, this Yakima and Thule are the two, like, top names. I did get a cargo box. I ended up getting a Thule box, which, you know, now that I see these are Yakima, I'm kind of thinking I should have got a Yakima, but it is what it is. The Thule box will stay with me, and this car will not. So, go ahead. My daughter just dresses the way she wants and does whatever she wants. Go ahead, that's fine. Throw dirt. That's cool. Whatever. So, uh, I'm going to install this. I'm not going to really film the whole process of it because there's like a hundred million videos of it. But I'm just going to show you what I got versus what it will look like in a second. Alright guys, so uh, as I said, I really didn't do um, a lot of filming. I'm just going to give you a quick last overview. The actual kit for the crossbars came with this. Excuse the mess, by the way. I'm in the middle of changing the oil on my pressure washer and about to work out and modding my power rack. There's so much stuff going on here, as usual, whatever. So this, I'm going to show you what it did. Well, first, I'm going to show you what everything looks like. It's done. Uh, just to preface things, I have the Thule Force XTL. I did originally buy the Thule Force XT XL, not realizing that I don't have a gigantic vehicle with, within my uh, wife's vehicle. Uh, the new vehicle that I'm getting as my re replacement daily driver, that would be great for the XT XL, but this was not, now this is the perfect size. This is what it looks like. I just wanna show you the uh, end caps here. They're pretty, pretty schmint. So when you're putting these on, I got lucky where it lined up there and it lined up here. And these are rock solid. Everything actually ended up going great. Um, once you get the correct piece up here, you're gonna tighten that down. Uh, and then you're actually gonna loosen it here on this one. You loosen it enough so that it slides on the bar and then once you get on there you can tighten that back up. Uh, this, when this loosens up, that actually makes this tongue get loose. Yeah, like I said, there's a million videos on how to actually uh, do that, so I'm not getting into that. But that's where this tool comes in handy. That's what that's for. Um, I am going to obviously keep this. Uh, what I'm going to do is leave this on the uh, car for the next 20 something days uh, before we take our trip to Disney, which is what this box is for anyway. I'm gonna quick show you. Don't you love that interior? It's great. I'm gonna quick show you. Take the key, and uh, this is the box. So I have to stand up because I'm a shorty. And uh, this has been on here for a couple days. These are rock solid. It comes with three other attachment uh, straps one for each of those which are actually pretty awesome uh, I didn't put them in here yet I didn't really do anything uh, yet actually uh, we just kind of threw it on here but it's great clearance wise awesome with the panoramic sunroof um, have no complaints rock solid this thing's just not going anywhere I really love this design that's why I went with the Thule because the way it attaches and how secure it is and you'll know it's fully tight when it you know when it goes over it locks like that with a clicking noise so you know there's no way 
that you're going any tighter, which is the same thing that I got with all of the Yakima things. When you tighten it all the way, when you get to the point where it is fully tight, it's going to start clicking and stop tightening. The clicking noise is what affirms that you've gotten everything properly tight. So everything is lined up the way it should be. I'm super impressed, super happy with how it went. But yeah, I think it's the perfect size. I'm just going to show you. This was my main concern, but we have absolutely tons of room. I probably could have gotten away with the XTXL, but I didn't uh, do that. I didn't uh, go that route. So we're just going to keep it this way, and uh, that's the way it goes. So uh, this is what it looks like. What do you think? What do you think? Totally worth it, right? But yeah, excuse the mess. I just wanted to do a follow-up um, and not leave you hanging because that's what I'm known to do. Apparently, I just film beginnings of a lot of videos. I forget to film the conclusion because things like this happen. I'm still working out all of the bugs when it comes to fine-tuning everything. Like when I tell you I'm starting projects, a million different projects, I upgraded to different J-Cups from my rack and literally this is how messed up I am, okay? I started drilling out the holes because the rack comes with less than one inch holes and I need one inch holes. So now I have a rack that has, you know, the ability to fit one piece in. I still gotta drill the back out. So that's what that's gonna be to do. But yeah, um, I'll probably film that. We'll see where that goes for tonight. I'm just gonna work out the best I can under those conditions. And I'll probably uh, film the other, I'll probably film the other video where um, I'm changing the uh, pressure washer oil. Didn't know that that was a thing, stupid me, I should have known, uh, but I haven't done it. And I haven't hit the time frame to do that yet, like usage wise, I haven't used it enough, but I did have it for a couple years. So better safe than sorry, why not? It was like 16 or 18 bucks total, you factor in shipping, whatever. It's, it's a minuscule amount when you consider how much that goddamn pressure washer cost me. So I was cleaning the exterior of it up um, yesterday with the steam cleaner and we're getting close. We're getting close to having a functioning uh, detail studio slash home gym, which is the goal because there will not be a car in the garage anymore. Um, I'll do a video on that very shortly. Again, if you're here for just the crossbar and the Thule box to see what that looks like as a combo with the Kia Sorento, that's over right now. I'm just telling you some bullshit about the channel if you're a follower. But yeah, uh, there is no car coming right now. Uh, I will announce what's going on, but a new vehicle order has been placed. Once the dealer officially accepts it within the next week, I will film that video announcing what I ordered to replace my daily and then we're going to have some exciting stuff. I will mod the daily so I'm going to have at least more content on the channel for that. We're going to get into the fitness content because I did promise that I was going to show you guys about my journey. Um, I'm not some guru for fitness or weight loss but I did lose 180 pounds. Uh, there's a story behind a lot of it. My life's altered. So much for the better. There's a lot of things to talk about. And as always, a million and one different things to talk about for detailing and just cool stuff I wanna share that I purchase or use or think is cool. So many things that I ordered that's coming, so many things that I will be ordering that will be coming. So I wanna just start getting back into the flow of things when it comes to recording videos. And yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, I truly appreciate all of the support as always. Thank you so much for everything. We're getting close to being back to some normalcy here post Rona. I'm excited. Thank you all. I hope everybody stays happy, healthy, and humble. I'll see you guys on the next one.